number four playoff finish of all time. The catch. Yeah, that game's probably, yeah, it's about right, I guess. What? What? It was just like one of the greatest moments in NFL history. The catch not being number one is crazy talk. Crazy talk. In the 1981 NFC Championship, something legendary began in San Francisco. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better narrative. It's, it's, out of, it's out of fiction. The empirical dynasty, America's team, arrives to take on this young upstart. It truly was Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. You know, this was the evil empire against the, the force, the greatest quarterback of all time in his signature moment on an incredibly dramatic play. And they're leading 27-21. Six yards away from his sixth Super Bowl for the upstart 49ers. They're six yards away from Pontiac. Montana looking, looking. Rolling right, rolling right, rolling right. And just the drag and the weight and the holding on to the ball all the way to the last second. Throwing in the end zone. And it was so Joe Montana. I don't know how Montana could have possibly seen where he was throwing the ball. The little pump fake to get Ed Tuttle Jones just to jump a little bit. Throwing off the back leg, throwing it into the deepest part of the end zone. Such a sweet touch pass. There's been millions of passes, but that's the one they keep showing. And the game's not even over at that point. What people forget about the catch all the time is the Cowboys almost won that game. Drew Pearson, he catches an in uh, about 30 yards downfield, and he gets tackled by a fingernail. And it's a horse collar. Today it would be 15 yards. It would have put the Cowboys in field goal range. And then Denny White fumbles on the next play. The tuck rule will have come into play, too, if that had been in place. And he got it. Lawrence Pillars, he fumbled the ball. Denny White doesn't fumble. It's a very good chance they get a field goal there at the end. That's how close the catch was to being a footnote in history. But that was the start of the whole dynasty. It started the sort of 49ers greatness. The Dallas Cowboy dynasty goes into a decade of winter. The 49er dynasty is born and goes for the next 15, 16 years. They'll show it forever. I mean, we're still watching it all these years later. The massive historical repercussions of the catch, I demand it be placed number one.